Baby. Madison, how are you? The thing you have to understand is what happens in high school is gonna stay with us forever. Most people don't think that, but uh, then again, most people are losers. Uh, that was good. Any comedy director is excited at the opportunity of doing a high school film because we all grew up with iconic high school films, whether it's John Hughes films or Mean Girls or Super Bad. From Risky Business to Breakfast Club to Say Anything, there's so many of them. Minnie Stalin, dead ahead. Mean Girls was my Bible getting through high school because at the time I was like, oh my God, there's totally a Regina George in my high school. Take the blue ones, they're sugar free and I know you're trying to watch that kind of thing. And then I read the script for The Duff, and I thought it was something that was zeitgeisty and of the moment and super relatable. Times have changed. Jocks play video games, princesses are on antidepressants, and geeks basically run the country. The Duff is like an updated version of Mean Girls, including all social media. Text me! The clicks have changed a little bit, but the idea of kids trying to find themselves and fit in is a thing in high school that's never changed. Duff. Every group of friends has one, you know, the one who doesn't look as good. High school is a very emotional time, which is why I think it's been classic fodder for some great storytelling. How could you guys not tell me that I was your Duff? Or what? Your designated ugly fat friend. Yeah. High school is a series of bittersweet moments. <laughs> Can I come in? I think the Duff definitely tries to fight for the sweet, but the bitter is still there. I don't want to be the Duff anymore. I need you to give me real talk. You got a unibub, your posture sucks, and your clothes fit weird because you wear the wrong size bra. Boom, real talk. Every three years, there's a film in this area that captures the imagination of the young world. Bianca. And we aspire to be that film. Please.